<laughs> All right. Well, anyway, we got breaking news. President Trump tried to hold a meeting for the uh, National Rifle Association, the NRA. Well, somebody got one of their cell phones, and right when he was walking up there, man, they threw that cell phone. Damn near got him. Damn it. Oh, I wish they would have hit him in the head. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. Even YouTube wishes they would have hit him in the head. Dude, hi, YouTube. Yeah, for spraying all the chemicals on our kids. That's right. That's what you get. Man, remember that time that President Bush, remember that when he went overseas that one time and somebody threw a grenade at his ass and I'm like, oh yeah, it's going to blow, it's going to blow, I said. And then it didn't go and I'm like, hmm. and I was like, ah, oh, it wouldn't have stopped his reign though because he still would have had Dick Cheney, he would have had Rumsfeld just to fuck over the rest of the troops for the time being until they got out of office anyway. But it would have been cool. Hell, even if it was like a paint grenade, that would have been funny, huh? <laughs> Turn him <them> pink. <laughs> like a pig. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I got a goofy sense of humor. Good luck trying to set, get that through the security, huh? So, too bad. Too bad we got security and things like that to make so you can't have fun with the president, huh? Yeah. Well, anyway, they got a cell phone by and... So that person was taken out and arrested. Darn it. Darn it, Trump had him arrested. I would have been like, fuck you, you fucking white phosphorus baby killing sack of monkey shit you are. Hallelujah. Go fuck yourself. That's what I would have said. But that's just me. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm really not a big fan of you, Trump. I'm really not a big fan. I don't want you dead. I just, you know, I just wish somebody would have hit you in the head with a phone. Knock some fucking sense into your ass, dude. You know, in Venezuela, you know, you need to figure it out because Maduro, you know, he ain't going nowhere. And uh, you need to figure out a way to talk to Putin. You need to get on better talking terms with Putin because the only one that's going to convince Maduro to give the food to his people is Putin. He's the only one in the world he's going to listen to. You know it, and I know it. He ain't going to listen to you. He ain't going to listen to Pompeo. He's only going to listen to Vladimir Putin. Because Putin is the man. I wish I was Putin, dude. If I could only put my myself in Putin's shoes. You know, I mean, I'm going to the gun range tomorrow to go have a blast. But, dude, could you imagine being Putin? Be like, dude, let's go drive a fucking tank today. You know what I mean? What levers do I push? <laughs> if it gets too confusing, you push them for me. Yeah, let's blow some shit up. You know, that's what I'd say, dude. Let's go blow some shit up today. Dude, I'd be always out at the gun range, dude, blowing things up. Then I go talk to world leaders. Then I go blow shit up. So, yeah, that's what I'd be doing, dude. Why not? You're the president. That's the problem with America. We never have need to hold any military parades. All these other countries are on the road to hold all these cool military parades with their coolest shit. You never see America hold that parade because America's like, whoa, they just don't want to show you what they got. They just don't want to show you what they got. Man, they ain't never show you nothing, do it. Remember President Trump was going to try to hold like a fucking rally in, uh, I believe it was uh, Washington, D.C., and they told him to get fucked because it would ruin all of our streets. Well, I didn't say use tanks. You can't run tanks down the down the street. I mean, you can, but <laughs> you might have to repave that section of the highway. <laughs> you can, but in other countries, they're like, yeah, whatever, dude. It's just a fucking road. I'll repave it. In America, they're a bunch of pussies, dude. They don't, they don't do it. What's a little repaving, right? To show off your me biggest and meanest weapons, huh? The stikers and all the newer fucking vehicles you got over there in the in the sandbox. They got some pretty cool shit over there. America's got some pretty cool shit, you know. They're all about trying to protect the soldiers, which is cool, from the IED blast and stuff. So from they got it from the fucking endless war that we're in over there, so that we never seem to get out of. But anyway, anyway, too bad I'm not president. And as I'd get you out so fucking fast and make your head spin, I'd get you out of Syria too, and I'd tell Erdogan you ain't fucking going in there. You just leave the fucking Kurds alone, or else. And then I would hold him to that too. And I'd fucking, I'd beat him with a fucking metal pole. I'd beat Salami over there too. Salami Mohammed. <laughs> Salami! Yeah, I haven't thought of, I haven't forgotten about you, Mr. Salami, the head of the Revolutionary Guard. 
number one terrorist on our list now. You know, I thought that was Trump. Isn't it, isn't that the one running this country? Isn't he the head terrorist? Well, he's the one that, that took all the gold from him. So that makes him the head terrorist. Mr. Trump, you should be looking for yourself. Here you are looking for salami. You should be just grab yourself. Grab yourself one day. And be like, damn, I got the motherfucker. Where's my reward? You can pay, you can pay the reward to the little starving kids over there or something like that. Little starving kids that got cancer or something like that. You need to do donate more money to to kids in society and not just not giving a shit about the poor people. All you care about is the rich. You know what? And I know it. Oh, anyway, I love you. Gotta go.